Hello and welcome to a let's play of Mark of the Ninja. Mark of the Ninja is a stealth game by Client Entertainment and one of my favourite stealth games ever, which is why I'm doing a challenge run where I shan't be killing any guards that I come across or whatever. The only deaths will be the ones that are story compulsory, and if you don't quite get what that's going to be, then you'll see them anyway. In any case, what I'm after is that big juicy finisher at the end which says, you killed no guards, here's a big amount of, like, points or whatever. That's what the challenge run is about, and I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time, and uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I will. So, without further ado, let's get going. Ink and dreams, you wake to the sound of a bell and gunfire, you must save as I. I have been uh, doing like test runs of this, but um, yeah, such is the nature of things. Um, I, of course, have played through this before, so I have all of this stuff here, but last time I went through it, I was a murdering bastard, so this time, shan't be doing that. Hey, you. Don't you hear the bell? Okay. I'm here to help you. Rule number one, don't get me killed. So, here we are. How's the recording? All good? Let's get to it. Well, the blue aura, if you um, are not familiar, is basically just sound. It's an indicator of... Uh, how far a sound will travel before a guard hears it, and uh, these speech bubbles here are developer commentaries that came with this version of the game. Uh, I'll be going through all of them in this first video, but if you don't want me to bother or if you want me to continue doing them, then uh, that's fine. Anyway, this is Neil Sanderson. There we go. Back to it. They should all be killed or captured now. Excellent. Stand down and get ready to leave in 15. Ugh, god, that accent. Um, okay, so here's the first indicator of another mechanic and how you are seen. I am currently in the dark, cannot be seen, and I am completely black. Go into the light, my character becomes coloured. There we are. the phrasing. Anyway, you, you get what I mean. Thanks, Brooke. Where's your sword? I forgot it. Stick to the darkness until you find one. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Watch out. They're coming this way. So, we have these hiding spots, which, like um, the gargoyles in uh, Arkham Asylum or any grappling point you find in this game, will uh, allow you to plan out ahead in relative safety. Okay. Keep moving. More of them. Find a place to hide. As you can see, the lighting effect is consistent with uh, the guards, and we also have the cone of vision, which is very new. Up there with a the crow's bar, I think, is um, one of the collectibles you'll see in the game. Thanks, Tarpon. Hold up. Run. And they'll be able to hear it. <sighs> Ain't no fun. See those banners? We but yeah, totally uh, if you're not wearing this suit, yeah. running is going to make a lot of noise, more, so don't do it. Get under that ledge. From there, you can pull yourself up. Do that. Grappling! 
so very useful. <laughs> like the bread and butter of this run. Or any run for that matter. Where another collectible is, and Chris Darlin talks about the collectibles. Whee! Would you hurry up? This place is giving me the crazy. Deep sound bubble. I do love the design. Good thing you it makes it really, it like really fantastic. Let's keep it that way. Like, uh, so for example, I have noisemakers here. You go into focus mode, which I'll manage to plan ahead. It'll have an indication of course, where it goes, and where the uh, sound will travel, and which guards will be noti notified of it. Just, science is fantastic. It's really nice. Anyway, this is the way where you'd get your sword in a normal run. Uh, instead, I'm gonna have to uh, dispatch of this, uh, this person right here. That one. Which will involve seven noisemakers. Can you stop here for a drink, excuse me? So, throw one yonder. And because these are upgraded ones, they have a time. So, I can, well, that prop. I can. I can do. Yeah, I, uh. That's what I should have done. Let me just, uh, sort that out. Did I hear something? What was that? Here? And the idea is. I heard something coming from here. Turn around, please. Please turn around. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Hey, there we go. Hey, it's here! Back, out, 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 out! So, yeah. That's how you escape a dodgy scenario. Without killing it. You, uh, brute force your way through by running like a coward. <clears throat> These are the darts that I, uh, We'll be using to like bright lights and stuff. As will the be demonstrated. Has honed your senses. Focus your look at that! Look at how like the light sways and just go in and out, even in that little bit. It's just really cute. So yeah, focus mode allows you to plot ahead. I just throw stuff here and boom. Just throws little things you can do. In, not bad. Thank you, Aaron. And back to it. If you need more cover, you could always destroy the lights. But shattering one. Yep. As uh, she was about to say, shattering one will notify the guard. Make a loud noise, so be ready for them to react. Now I tried jumping over this guy, and uh, I'm sure it's possible, but it's just really, really dodgy. So I'm actually going to take this light out and wait till I get an opportunity to just jump over it or something. But uh. Actually, no way. Should do that. <laughs> there, I was thinking, hmm, I'm gonna have to make a really risky choice. No, no, no you can just grapple. You can just grapple. <laughs> Silly. Uh, is there anything in there? I forget. Let me have a quick check. Of course, again. Yeah, what are you doing? Damn. Um. Brush against vents with ALD. Alright, oh, I have to go this way anyway. Ooh, so, yeah, you're actually just meant to stab this guy, but what I'm gonna do is just smack off him. It's ridiculous, thing, isn't it? Even if it wasn't upgraded. Okay, so. I could be like really crafty and use the noisemaker to distract them while I run through the door. And um Yeah, actually I'm probably gonna do that. Uh Let me just uh position this one properly. There we go. Well I actually Yeah, it will get go both of them. Did I hear something? Um Wee We'll see what that noise was over there. That was about as seamless as I've ever done it. 
I haven't quite shoved. Anything up here? Game says no. We need to make him look the other way. Quickly, put that. Thank you, Jamie. Right, so a way to make him look the other way is you can hit the gong. And the idea is that you hit the gong and sort of murder him, but I'm not going to do that. Noisemaker is going to be quite convenient. Um, do I want to do that or just smoke bomb? I don't want to keep hearing smoke bombs all the time. Everything is like, hmm, distract this guy so you can stab him. Which is really, really annoying. So I'm going to see if I can get him to go. Did I hear something? Whee! I okay. get something over here. See how convenient those are. It's fantastic. See that door? Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. Mm -hmm. You have a dude on the other side. As was aptly demonstrated by my psychic vision. And there's another door. There's commentary here, and that, which I haven't picked up yet. Which I could go and grab, I suppose, if I'm very, very quick. I'd have to be very, very quick. First off, here's the commentary. Lazy. <laughs> anyway. Let's see if I can very quickly get this. Our lives have been cruel. I think I heard plan must always endure. Hold a bit. I'm, pr I'm pretty fucking impressed with myself with that. <laughs> as smug as that sounds, it's like, that's the first time I've actually, like, nailed that. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. So. Here, yeah, um, what am I gonna do? I could just use them up. Oh, I have a knock on that one, I think. What I could also do is just check a smoke bomb. Basically, this guy's the problem because he looks the way he does. I'm actually gonna chuck one now. Hey, Oops. <laughs> it's fucking pointless to be <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this guy so I can go in sneakily, and I'm going to throw myself right in the other guy's face. So yeah, this is what I've been pulling up. Um, you have the map, of course, you have a, a tracker on what your score is. Currently mine is absolutely rubbish. The seals that you've done, which are the challenges which um, unlock the suits, and the voice of the Hizomu, which I have now completed. Woot woot! Which um, are basically just haikus. Quite nice, though. Yeah, let's get back to it. 13 minutes, run. Thanks, Brooke. On the side is Le Ninja, that means Le Saving. So let's see if we can do that. Hey, eyes on target. <laughs> okay, that's twice I've run through that guy thinking there's nobody there. Ugh. And then there's this guy here. Right. Let's see his patrol, actually. Don't want to completely fluff it up again. Or being right plug. That should give me enough time to rescue him, actually. Just need him to. Again. Not the sneakiest of ninjas, me. More the, uh, the brute force and uh, see what happens kind of ninja. As I say, not very ninja at all. This is the end. Whee! No. About this one. If you're doing a no-kill run, don't do what I did before and smash this chandelier on this guy's face. Instead... Uh, oh, I still I think it is gonna actually just smash his face in. If I do that, so... Spec bomb. Yeah, how far he goes in this patrol? Ah, uh, enough, actually. Don't uh, worry about me. Eh, eh, eh. Right then, that is settled. Ah. 
Ooh, another collectible. I'm shocked by how little how little I actually picked up. Shamefer, shamefer display. I can actually go and zip up. So I shall be doing that. As soon as this goon has turned the other way. Don't mind me, just peering through the floor. Whee! Uh, is there anything else? Another artifact! <laughs> Did they just refresh, or have I just been missing all of them? I'm honestly just. Shamefer! Shamefer! Chillin' there. Uh, I go over. I can. No. Aha. You gotta be careful when you're uh, doing the grapple because you can actually alert guards to your presence by doing that. You picked the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. He's <laughs> placed that. He's like, ah, don't know you. Tired, boys. And God, his accent just, ugh. It's, it's like a confused mix of like British and Australian. It's just like, what? <laughs> okay, do we do this super sneaky like, or potentially I could just hit that gong and um, and then release him. I might actually try and do that because it might make it more interesting than just smoke bombing them right then and there because that's a bit cheap. So, go down that way. Um, go up this way. Or. Basically, I want to hit this gong so that they look the other way from me and I can go rescue his eye. Let's see, I need them to turn around again. Go! And down. I can hit the gong there. But can I do it from here? Because that will give me enough time to actually go and rescue his eye. Yes. Uh, no. So what I'm going to have to do is use my super sneaky quickness to be very, very quick. What is this? Oh, up, 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 up! Where is he? <laughs> I have bested you, fiends! Mercy. For centuries we have stayed hidden. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must strike back. We will fight for our survival and our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so, I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. He will defend the clan. Some burly looking tats, man. At a terrible cost. Uploading stats. No enemies killed. But because I fail as ninja, I raised so many. I raised five alarms. <laughs> or alerted five people. Oh dear. <laughs> Shame for us. There we go. No enemies killed. First mission done. Fantastic. So, next time we'll be uh, doing the second mission, naturally, because that follows on from the first. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, later.